Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be doing mental math. What kind of mental maths will we be doing, Niall? Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And why do we do mental maths? Um, so we can get it done in our head quickly. Okay, instead of writing it down? Yeah. So you're going to take it away, Niall, and you can go ahead and start with question number one. plus 25 so we'll do 30 plus 20 which is 50 and then 4 plus 5 which is 9 and then we can add them together so it will be 59 brilliant question number two 586 plus 312 so we'll do 5 plus 500 plus 300 which is 800 and then 80 plus 10 which is 90 and then we'll do 2 plus 6 which is 8 so it will be 898 very good Naya good job so you added how many hundreds you had then the tens then the units and you put that number together so can we apply that to subtraction. What is question three asking us to do? 89 take away 47. So we'll do 80 take away 40, which is 40, and then 9 take away 7, which is 2, so it will be 42. Brilliant. What about a larger question? Question with bigger numbers. What does question four say? 568 take away 245. So we'll do 500 take away 200, which is 300, and then we'll do 60 take away 40, which is 20, and then we'll do 8 take away 5, which is 3. So, so the answer will be 323. So Niall, that was quite a big question that you've worked up mentally. 568 take away 245 is equal to 323 so well done to you if you got that one right then smash that red subscribe button and turn it gray and if you didn't get it right then still do it <laughs> okay brilliant <laughs> let's look at question number five now this can be quite tricky Niall so take your time when you're explaining what to do so 1000 take away 485 so we'll do, so 10 hundred is equivalent to 1,000. So we'll, so we'll do 10 hundred take away 400, which will equal, um, which will equal 600. And then 600 take away 80 will be 520. And then 520 take away 5 is 500 and 15. Excellent Naya, very well done and I hope everyone at home understood that question. Okay so we finished with addition and subtraction so now we'll go on to some multiplication and division. Okay, so Naya. question number six, 34 times 2. So we'll do 30 times 2 which is 60 and then 4 times 2 which is 8 so the answer is 68. Very good. And can you remind everyone what's another way we can say times 2? Double. Okay, so or thir plus itself. Okay, so 34 times 2 is also double 34. Okay, brilliant. Number 7? 87 times 2. So we'll do 80 times 2, which is 160. And then 7 times 2, which is 14. So if we add them together, it will be 174. Excellent, Naya. Good job. Now we have, so we've done some multiplication by 2. Now let's do division by 2. So let's move on to number 8. 56 divided by 2. So we'll do 50 divided by 2, which is 25, and then 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then 25 plus 3 is 28. Excellent. 
Question number nine. 360 divided by two. So we can do 300 divided by two, which is 150. And then we can do 60 divided by two, which is 30. And then 150 plus 30 is 180. So 360 divided by two equals 180. Very good, Naya. Okay, so let's go to question number 10. 748 divided by 2. So we'll do 700 divided by 2, which is 350. And then we'll do 40 divided by 2, which is 20. And then we'll add those two together straight away. So 360, I mean 350 plus 20 is 370. And then... 8 divided by 2 is 4, so 374. What are we doing with the next couple questions, Niall? We're timesing by 4. And what's a quick way to times by 4? You double it and double it again. Brilliant. So can you go on to number 11? So 21 times 4. So we'll double 21, which is 42. And then we'll double 42 which is 84, so that means 21 times 4 is 84. How easy was that? Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay. If you guys thought that was easy, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's rock on with number 12. 130 times 4. So we will do 130 times 2, which is 260. And then 260 times 2... Well, that's a bit tricky. ...is 580... No, 520. 520. Well done, Niall. So now we're going to do division by 4. So how can we quickly divide by 4, Niall? Half it and half it again. Exactly. Half the number and then half it again. So why don't you start with number 13? So in 13, 64 divided by 4. So we'll do 64. Um, so we'll do 64 divided by 2, which is 32. And then 32 divided by 2 is 16. Excellent. So 64 divided by 4 is equal to? 16. Question number 14. 280 divided by 4. So we'll do 280 divided by 2, which is 140. Mm -hmm. And 140 divided by 2 is 70. Excellent. So nine. 280 divided by 4 is 70. Brilliant. What is the next question asking us to do? 15 times 10. And what's the trick for timesing a number by 10? Just add a zero. So what's the answer? 150. So when we times a number by 10, we add a... Zero. So what happens if we times a number by 20, Niall? So, so we can times it by 10, and then we can times it by 2. Okay, so let's look at 15 times 20. So we'll do 15 times 10, which is 150, and then 150 times 2 is 300. So 15 times 20 is 300. How would you do 42 times 20? 42 times 20. So we'll do 42 times 10, which is 420. And then 420 times 2 is 840. Excellent, Niall. Let's look at question number 18, Niall. It it says 54 times 20. So I'm going to do it a different way now. I'm going to do 54 times 2 and then by 10. Yes, because you can do it in any order. So go ahead. So 54 times 2 is 108. And then 108 times 10 is 1080. 108 times 10 is 1080. Very good, Niall. Almost done, let's just do a few division ones. What is 80 divided by 10, Niall? 
8. What did you do when you divided by 10? Take away 0. So what, how would you work out 80 divided by 20? Um, half it and then take away the zero. Yeah, so you can divide by two first and then take away the zero. So what would that give you? How would you do that? So 80 divided by two is 40 and then 40 take away a zero is four. Yes, so when you take away the zero, you divide it by 10. Let's look at question number 21. 270 divided by 30. So we'll do 270 divided by 10, which is 27, and then 27 divided by 3 is 9. Very good, so 270 divided by 30 is 9. Okay, so let's move on to question 22. 420 divided by 70. So we'll do 420 divided by 10, which is 42, and then 42 divided by 7, is 6, so 420 divided by 70 is 6. Excellent, Niall. They had some tricky questions there. Yeah. But you did a brilliant job. Okay, now that comes to the end of our lesson today, and I hope you guys at home enjoyed it as much as we did. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you just subscribe now, wait one second. Bye! Don't forget to press that subscribe button.